Correct definitions of words are located in a dictionary. So how could one get misinterpreted by anybody? The dictionary was made for a reason. It says the language, and language is a rule that's used to communicate by people in society. Changing a word into a connotative form can be damaging, yet confusing for individuals sharing the same language. A word that gets under my skin is gay. As in, some people may say that misinterpret this word, this class is so gay. <laughs> what does the English term gay actually mean? The Merriam-Webster online dictionary states that it means happily excited, having or inducing high spirits, being bright or lively. Most young people automatically refer gays only pertaining to the homosexual agenda. It does pertain, but it's not the only meaning, and it was never the original meaning. It was added in later on into the dictionary as years went on. What are people's intentions when they purposely misinterpret the term gay? Well, the connotative form of the term gay when they use it, it's used as an insult. It's synonymous with the words stupid, dumb, etc. People that misuse the term, maybe half of them are bigots, prejudiced, but the rest of them, it just makes them look uneducated, no sense of vocab, or no understanding of the true meaning of the word. My friend Lillian, I went to high school with her back up in Wisconsin. She always said things are gay all the time. I read the speech for her. Her reply, I'm still going to say it. <laughs> Although, since the day I came out to her, she can no longer call me gay anymore. Her reason, I'm really gay. <laughs> Misuse of the term gay is damaging to the young generations. The negative connotative form can have a drastic effect, especially on kids. You know, they're bullied, attacked by the misuse of the term. My personal experience growing up with this, it happened all through middle, high, middle school and high school, and it hit hard in junior year before I even knew I was gay. The word was just thrown around. It doubled the effect since the misuse of the term was always used as a negative insult. So growing up knowing that's negative made me feel like I had to hide it. It's negative, don't tell anybody. The effect on me, dropped out of high school senior year. I had loads of truancy tickets and I was scared to go back to school and did not feel safe. <clears throat> this form of bullying causes suicide in children, even suicide thoughts heard all over the news. All the negative thoughts of the misuse of the term, all the negative thoughts of the misuse of the term gay is a prime example of why it should not be used. <clears throat> Connotative forms of words can be insulting, hurtful, and obviously confusing to people sharing the same language. It needs to end. As, as comedian Wanda Sykes announced in her That Is So Gay public service announcement that aired on Cartoon Network. When you say, that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. 